evening you are welcome to our glory globe tv here's the most amazing news yes hydra is at first class no different from its neighbors like others islands in the aegean sea it has quite vast streets fragrant jasmine file river and breathtaking vistas of the simmering blue waters around it what sets hydra apart is its favored mode of transportation locals have registered the clamor of honking horns instead embracing the rhythmic sound of horse hooves here cars are not just absent they are intentionally kept away a ban on motorized vehicles except fire and refuse trucks and ambulances is enshrined in local legislation the greek iceland's population of about 2500 locals get around using mules donkeys and small horses Stepping off the ferry and onto Hydra Ford, the heart of the Iceland, visitors are made by small horses gracefully waving their way through the cobblestone streets and giving them a taste of the Iceland's unheard pace. As you wander through Hydra's quaint pathways, it is common to witness locals going about their daily business accompanied by their four-legged companions. From Kaminia, a tranquil village on the southern coastline adorned with traditional stone houses, to Mandraki on the island's western shores, renowned for its pristine waters and lit black aura, the island is intertwined with their presence. Hydra is an island that really talks you back in time, says Harith German, owner of horse trekking company Harlet's Hydra Horses. All the transportation on this island is done by horses or mules because there are no cars, everyone's lips are a little bit calmer. German's connections with Hydra began 24 years ago when her mother brought her to the Iceland on vacation leading to a life-changing decision to make Hydra their permanent home. It was a decade later during Greece's economic crisis when German faced pressure to sell her cherished horse Chole. Determined to keep her beloved companion, she decided to establish her horse trekking business, a venture that not only supported Chole but also allowed her to share her love for the Iceland's landscape. Behind the Glory Globe to be.